Hogwarts Legacy will be a gigantic game and I want to create a series of videos covering every aspect of the game in which we know of so far pre-release for players not up to date with what's going on. So this video will be a part of a playlist which does that. Today we start at the very start, the character creator. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Harry Potter, uh, well say Harry Potter or Hogwarts Legacy, be sure to subscribe. So the character creator, uh, a system like this in a game like Hogwarts, is something that has to be great. Players feel the need to create their own wizard or witch, and thankfully, the Hogwarts Legacy character creator looks pretty good. Now this won't be the most in-depth character creator you've ever seen, but I think it will be efficient enough. Also remember we are basically creating a school kid here, so please don't expect those cyberpunk creator options because that isn't happening. Also, it seems upon first inspection that there's no body shape options either. But with regards to face shape, skin tone, hair color, facial features and everything else you'd expect, it's kind of here. So the character creator starts with a preset you can pick from. Use and base your character off. Once you've decided on that preset, you can then further customize by selecting a face shape and then applying glasses if you want to. Important to note, cosmetic items such as glasses and things like this, you can unlock further on in the game as you play. The face shapes are limited to what you see with no indication to morph the shape into a different shape from what I've seen from the gameplay. Now the next tab is where you select your hairstyle and coloring. There are plenty available here, but it's nowhere near the biggest catalog I have seen. In regards to hair, it doesn't seem there's any options for a beard here. But obviously, like I said, we are creating a school kid. But hey, I had a full grown beard when I was 14, but we can't have it all. The next tab is basically facial features, which persists of things such as skin complexion, freckles, moles, as well as facial scarring, which we know people want to apply to their player. I mean, Harry Potter had that classic scar. Now, the next tab is based around the eyes and the eyebrows. Here, you can obviously change the shape of the eyebrows and even their color. We can also change the colour of the player's eyes at the same time. Now the final tab is where you finalise your character. Here you can pick from two voices, masculine and feminine voice options, with a further slider to change that pitch. We then have the game's difficulty option. Here we have four options starting with story, which is said to be an option for people who ain't really gamers and want to really experience a story with minimal challenge. We then have easy, normal and hard difficulty options. We then have the option to pick our name, both first and second. I can imagine some people wanted to use prohibited words, which I would guess will indeed be prohibited. And then we have to pick that dormitory, which or wizard. Here, I think I'm gonna go with wizard, but I just ain't sure at this moment. Important to note also, you will be able to choose your house, but that won't be done here. You will have to experience a bit of the story before that becomes an option, which does make sense. But it is said as well that the house that you do pick won't necessarily impact the game in regards to changing options or this that, and the other. I do believe everything will be an option no matter which house you choose in regards to quests and missions and things like that. Now the customization beyond our look in regards to our face is indeed possible within Hogwarts thanks to its depth fee looting gear system. And there is said to be a ton of clothing gear pieces that you can find, buy or even earn throughout the game. Even at one stage guys being able to craft and edit said gear pieces. It's also important for those wondering because gear in this game can affect the way in which you play and will affect the way in which you play. In regards to traits on certain gear affecting spells and this and the other. You can lock the way you want to lock. So if you find that amazing piece of gear, that amazing cloak that you just want to wear, that's fine. You will be able to use this no matter your playstyle and apply said traits which will buff your character for the playstyle you want to play the game with. And that's basically it in regards to character customization. Yes, you can edit your character further on into the game, so don't worry about that if you want to change something. That's completely possible. Now like I said at the start of the video, this isn't the most in-depth character customization I have ever seen, but I think it's enough for a game like this. And don't forget what we have seen so far is work in progress, so things may change, things may differ for when the real game or full game comes out. So keep that in mind. And there we have it guys. 
the character customization within Hogwarts Legacy. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.